Assalamu alaikum everyone. The, and today we will study signal detection theory in experimental psychology by dear knowledge. Signal detection theory, the abbreviation is SDT. The definition of signal detection theory includes a psychophysical theory that divides the detection of sensory signals into a sensory process and decision making process which means that it is a psychophysical theory and they, it is all based on uh, stimulus-response relationship. Uh, the sensory signals are the stimulus and the decision-making process is a response. When we detect a stimulus, we make a response and a response is based on our judgment and our decisions. The de next definition include signal detection theory deals with the detectability of signals and criterion that are used for detection of signals. Now, what is detectability and criterion? Signal detection theory reduces the stimulus response matrix into two meaningful quantities. Number one, detectability. It is the subject's sensitivity to stimulations. Number two, criterion. It is the subject's inclination to favor a particular response. Factors of signal detection theory. Signal detection theory based on two factors. It depends on two factors. Number one, psychological factors, and number two, physical factors. The psychological factor is an internal factor. It based uh, it is based on expectations, motivations, past experience, interest, social suggestion, etc. Whereas the physical factors depends on in external environment. It can be our potency, the size, the shape, the loudness, the repetition, etc. To clear the point of signal detection theory, the explanation includes the theory can be an application of psychophysics because the observer's response is according to their sensitivity to stimulus and judgment accordingly. Which means that uh, signal detection theory can be an application of psychophysics because uh, it is all about a stimulus-response relationship. Because when we detect a stimulus, we make our decision, we make our judgment accordingly. And our judgment is based on our physical and psychological uh, factors. It can be physical, it can be psychological. Signal detection theory uh, basically is sensory experiment to us and it helps us to analyze much kind of decision-making process which means that it is a sensory experiment in psychophysics and it helps us to analyze much kind of decision-making problems. Decision-making problems include that uh, it depends on the form of stimulus we detect, whether the decision-making problem uh, uh, can be according to the stimulus, if the stimulus is a, a kind of difficult one, so our decision will be, uh, it, it will depend on the kind of stimulus we detect. We will study it further uh, in stimulus response matrix. Uh, it predicts how and when we detect the presence of a faint stimulus and background stimulus. The faint stimulus includes the signals which we detect and the background stimulation is the noise uh, which we usually ignore. The theory is based on the discrimination of the stimulus. The detection of signals actually depends on physical and psychological condition of the individual. Now, this theory is based on the discrimination of the stimuli. Uh, the stimuli, the discrimination of the stimuli, it means uh, the mm, discri discrimination between the fan stimulus and background stimulations. Uh, it means that the difference or discrimination, discriminating between two stimulus. And the detection of the signals also depends on our physical and psychological conditions. The physical conditions include the prepotency, the size, the change, etc. Whereas the um, psychological condition includes our interest, motivations, uh, social suggestion, or motives, or past ex experience, or expectations. Uh, whatever we are expecting from a stimulus, it is a psychological condition. Detection theory means to measure the ability to differentiate between information bearing pattern uh, for stimulus and a random pattern that is distracts from the uh, information, which is usually called noise. So as we studied earlier, 
that uh, signal detection theory it uh, help us to discriminate between two stimuli so it uh, two stimuli can be friend stimuli and background stimulations it can be information ba information bearing pattern for the stimulus and random bearing pattern uh, that distracts um, from the information next is that it evaluates the discriminative behavior of individual sensitivity and his or her response it means that the stimulus which we have detected for example if a group of people sitting in a class they detect a stimulus every each individual will respond differently it is called perception perception is giving meaning to a stimulus so when we detect a stimulus for example, a group of people sitting in a class they detect a stimulus and every each individual will make their own perceptions and they will show their own uh, response differently so the response varies from individual to individual the response depends on our physical and psychological condition for example if i detect the stimulus uh, physically uh, and the other person detects it psychologically for example, if I hear a uh, ringtone and I might expect that uh, it can be uh, a car, it can be someone's doorbell ringing, while other person might think that it can be a, a um, phone, it can be a person selling ice cream. So the, our response, our behavior is different. So uh, more about the different response of individual. Uh, we'll study more about it in the next uh, slides. Uh, the four possibilities for detection of stimulus include hit, yes, miss, no, false alarm, which is yes, correct rejection, which is no. In hit, the response is always yes. Now, why the response is always yes? Because in a hit, the observer's response is yes because he really have detected the stimulus. In miss, the response is no. It means that the response was actually present, but he is uh, saying no. In hit, the responser is telling the truth, while in miss, the person knows the truth, but he is hiding that truth. In false alarm, he don't know the truth. He haven't detected the uh, proper stimulus, but he is making his own predictions. That is, yes, like he will say, yes, I have detected the stimulus, and it is uh, this kind of stimulus. So his response is uh, not true. In correct rejection, the person tell the truth. If he if he haven't detected any stimulus. He will say, no, I haven't detected any stimulus. In hit, if he really have detected the stimulus, he will say, yes, I have detected the stimulus. In miss, if he have detected the stimulus, but he will not tell the truth that I have detected the stimulus. Instead, he will lie that I haven't detected the stimulus. In false alarm, he haven't detected the stimulus, but he will lie that, yes, I have detected the stimulus. In correct rejection, he will definitely tell the truth. If, if there wasn't any stimulus, there will be no response and he will say no there is no in answer so here you can see signal detection table there is hit miss false alarm and correct rejections so you can see the green tables the green tables are those people who are telling the truth and the red table is uh, indicates the uh, not telling the truth for example if the stimulus is present the observer response will be yes and it will be hit in false alarm the answer will be yes but the person will not be telling the truth to make it more clear i will help you uh, up with an example uh, application of signal detection table uh, it is uh, applied on similar response relationship. For example, if a tire of a car burst outside in hot weather and people sitting inside the class will make their own decision. For example, one person know the truth but uh, make an untrue statement so the people cannot get distracted. And they stop looking at the window and they pay attention to the lecture. So he, he might tell a lie by hiding the truth. He will say, it seems like bursting of a big balloon. I didn't hear anything. 
he can say it seems like bursting of a big balloon or he can uh, tell the lie by saying i don't hear anything which is miss which is no he knows the truth but he is making an untrue st statement and it is called miss no the other person uh he know the truth so he will say uh it is a car i i think that it is a tire of a car so it will be his uh yes hit the third person uh he know the truth and he know that it is not a balloon so he will say no it is not a big balloon so it is correct rejection he said no which means no so the person who say uh, who have detected the stimulus and he say yes it is this kind of stimulus but no it is not this kind of stimulus and the answer is uh, true so it will be hit or correct rejection for example both of the person uh, on the point two or three uh, know that it is a car it is not a big balloon so the one person who tell the truth and said that it is a car so it is hit yes he have said yes and the other person said no it is not a big balloon it is also true it is not a big balloon so it is and will um, include an incorrect rejection which is no uh the fourth person don't know the truth he haven't detected any proper stimulus but he says i think it is a bomb blast i think uh it is an expensive car one of the friend sitting next to him he say it is your expensive car so it will be false alarm that he don't know the truth but he is making his own predictions uh the another example can be a tumor for example if a doctor have detected a tumor in a patient's brain uh, and uh, he say uh no i haven't detected any tumor even though he know the truth uh, the reason why he said that so the patient cannot get upset uh, so he hide the truth and he said no there isn't any tumor so it will be miss it will be no for example if the doctor tell truth yes there is a tumor in your brain and you need to treat you need to take some uh, to do a treatment for it so he have uh, tell the truth he haven't hide the truth so it will be yes it will be hit but uh the doctor checked and there wasn't any tumor and he said no there is no tumor and you're healthy so it is also a correct rejection because uh the patient is okay but for example if a doctor is inexperienced uh he's not experienced and he say i think i have detected a tumor in your brain so he have made a false alarm and he have destroyed the patient's life and he say yes i have detected tumor even he haven't detected the tumor so uh that will be false alarm yes according to hit miss false alarm and correct rejection uh the definition include when the stimulus is present but response is absent it is called miss when the stimulus is absent a response is present it is called correct rejection no when both the stimulus and response are present it is called hit which is yes when both the stimulus and response are absent it is called false alarm which is yes so thanks for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, do tell me in the comment if you want to know any of the subjects related to experimental psychology, ethics and psychology, communication skills, uh, computer applications or introduction to psychology, history of psychology, educational psychology, any subject in which you have any difficulty, do type in comment and I'll help you. 